Hello everyone, this is Bhargav Reddy here, covering off on major issues across Asia, Pacific, Europe, Middle East and Africa. Today it's 9th of August. I'll hand it over to Uday to cover off on East Asia Pacific. All right, thanks Bhargav. So in East Asia Pacific region, we covered 20 events today. And uh, the main assessed event was in Papua New Guinea, where the recent election results indicate that uh, incumbent Prime Minister James Marape will continue his mandate for the next five years. Now, this is despite widespread criticism over corruption and misgovernance during his last tenure. And uh, these dynamics are going to persist in the country and continue to affect businesses. And of course, because of the high levels of election tensions, you can't rule out election related violence over the coming weeks. That's pretty much it from my end, part of what's going on in South Asia. In South Asia, there were 14 other developments and one assessed issue, and that was on the protest calls given today in Colombo, Sri Lanka. Uh, President Ranil Vikramasinghe has been trying to stabilize the situation politically and economically. The economic situation is not looking good at the moment as the IMF is still dragging its feet in providing aid to Sri Lanka uh, while it suffers from probably the worst economic uh, crisis uh, in its independent history. Now, businesses need to be aware of the sporadic protests being organized uh, at the ground level in the capital city and a few other major urban centers.